Welcome to this tutorial of JNet map. Um, we're gonna add some devices first, and it's probably the easiest way to do this is to just use the scan utility in Edit Scan. So as you can see, the utility has found out my IP range, the one that I use here locally. You can adjust this if you want to scan a different range and it's very important to adjust the timeout here. Normal Linux and other Unix distributions will be fine with 50 milliseconds. On Windows, however, you have to go up to a thousand or more because, well, I don't know, Windows is slow or something. Now, um, let's scan, and you can see here uh, devices start to pop up. Now let's just add them, and as you can see here, all the devices have been added with their correct names and their IP addresses. You can also change the image. For example, um, this is a router, as you can see. So the correct icon is not a workstation, but the router. So you can just go into the settings, adjust this here, and it will change the icon. So now let's add a switch so we can connect all our devices. You can do this by right-clicking on the canvas and go to Add Device. And then you select a switch and add it to the map. Now you can see our switch here. So let's connect all our items. You're gonna just select them by dragging your mouse. And you can see they are selected. They have a bluish circle around them. Right click and go to connect. And now you can see we can add lines. And now we're good to go. Now this is a very simple example of course. But basically you can see how you've gotta do this. So now we're gonna check and ha aren't we lucky all our devices are running now um, there are a lot of preferences that you can adjust I won't explain every detail but basically here are the general options and I just want to point out two features um, one are the triggers this is a very powerful tool if you know how to use it so um, you can enter any program or script here, like a shell script, and it will be executed if a device changes its state. So for example, if any of your machines go down and you want to be notified, you can just create your own script and then uh, put the path in here, something like um, email me. So this assumes that email me is a program that will send an email to you. And it can also use parameters such as N for the name. So it will email you the name of the device that has just gone down. Another cool feature is you can also add your own icons. You can see here the 12 stock icons, but perhaps you don't like them, perhaps you have a other device. So you can just go to Add, and you can see this little dialog pops up. Now I'm going to name mine example and you can open the browser the uh, file browser and you can look for an appropriate image uh, I don't know let's just select anything it doesn't really matter and you can see here now our own device our own icon for our device has been created so uh, we can do the same thing we can uh, adjust the settings of any device now we're gonna select our own item here it is example and as you can see it has added the icon now of course if you don't like what you've done if you made a connection by accident or something you can always remove the connection um, you can also if you change your network structure you can disconnect several devices so now the lines are gone um, what you can also do is, well, let's move this over here to make a better example. Um, you can add, uh, add a label. So, for instance, if you want to say um, this is a Cat5 cable, which is um, 10 meters long or something, um, you can add this so you always know what kind of cable you're using. Um, in the upper right corner here there is the ping interval so the program will check every five minutes 
um, if the devices are still running. If this is not enough for you, you can of course change this to like one minute or something. So now it will check every minute if the device is really available. Um, you can also, if you have to view a large map on a small screen, you can use your right mouse button, and drag it, and you will drag the entire canvas around. Now, as you can see, I have lost my devices. I don't know where they are. So, um, the Reset Canvas tool is your friend. I should maybe also point out that um, there are two connection modes, or two availability checks, basically, for every device. Um, as you can see here, I would recommend ping mode, which sends out a standard ping to your machine, and it will hopefully answer to that ping. But if you run a special service, or you want to check your web server or something that does not support ping, you can also use ports. So if this were a web server, you would probably want to check port 80. If you don't know what ports are available, you can use the port scanner utility. Um, and you can scan for common ports. As you can see on this machine here, um, there are four ports open, and for simplicity's sake we're just going to use port 22, and we're going to use port mode from now on. So as you can see here, it has added the information that it's using a port, and if we check again now, you can see it's still up. Now if we enter a non-existent port, or just one that is not open, you will see it will probably go down. So um, now this device is not available because the port is not responding on this device. So let's reset that. Um, you also have a history, normally uh, with uh, 10 items, so if anything happens that you do not like, you can just always undo it. Um, you have a lot of uh, view options, so for instance the legend, once you're familiar with it, perhaps you don't need it, you can just click it away, or the um, statistics you see in the lower right corner here, perhaps you don't want them, and there's also a very handy feature if you want to keep everything straight, um, which is the grid mode, so I'm going to deactivate the grid mode now, and just um, drag my devices anywhere, and you can see it's a chaos, it's a mess, you can't see anything. Well, you can, but it's not pretty. So, um, you can just activate grid mode and align all those items. Now, um, they're arranged on a virtual checkerboard, so to speak. And now you can see they're all in straight lines. But perhaps you also want to um, add bent lines. So, um, there's a so-called via point for lack of a better name. You can just insert such a point and now you have bent lines. So um, that's basically it. Um, just check it out for yourself. Um, well, one last thing I want to point out. Of course you can save the entire map to a file so you don't have to redraw all the things if you exit the program. And we can just go um, save something, like example or something, and it will save it as a netmap file. In that same fashion, you can also open a file. So, for instance, this is my home network, and you can see it has just saved all the devices. So, thanks for checking out JNetMap, and I hope you can put it to some use. Goodbye.